Sagittarius. I will now be breaking up the reading into two parts. Uh, the first part will be for singles and then for couples. So we'll have a look and see what's coming up around you in love. Uh, Sagittarius singles. Okay, we have the king and the queen of pentacles, but... The queen appears to be reversed. Now, the king of pentacles represents Taurus energy. So you may have a Taurus or an Aries coming up around you, Sagittarius. Um, the king of pentacles is the last king of the deck, and he is ready to offer something quite significant. Um, for the females watching, it might be you that are a little bit reversed here when it comes to finding love. So um, you might not be coming across as someone who's ready for the same kind of commitment as the king is. Now, if you are the king watching, you may have a female who's presenting herself reversed, an earth sign female. Um, if it's not an earth sign, I mean, these two make a very powerful couple indeed, but for some reason, um, I'm going to go with its, its timing potentially the timing here and they do sit very closely to the two of cups um, connection here which can be this twin flame slash soulmate uh, card here so seeing this makes me think that there is something um there is something going on okay there is something that's uh, reversed a little bit knight of swords rushes to a situation here um the king of uh, the queen of pentacles is not um is not an energy where she's feeling really stable and she has the Knight of Swords rushing away. Knight of Swords is rushing to the King of Pentacles. There might be someone who's moving too fast here, uh, Sagittarius. They're moving too fast in a sense where this relationship, you know, this is Venus energy. Venus is the strong, uh, sorry, the King of Pentacles is the strong and silent type. Um, so seeing that, I feel with the Knight of Swords, there is someone who's rushing ahead and, and wanting to things too quickly. Now, I always am a little bit wary about um, people that move too quickly in relationships. It's either they haven't healed from previous relationships, um, and they might have done it before. It's repetitive behavior, so this may have happened before. The repetition symbol, the fact that the magician is reversed... Uh, could very well indicate that this isn't the first time they've done this, Sag, or it could indicate this isn't the first time you have done something like this. I did mention making a major decision in the general reading. Um, and there might be an Aries that is coming up as reversed. The King of Pentacles is love and is showing that love is coming to you. Uh, but interestingly... There's, it's either coming too quickly or it's maybe even being pushed or pressured. So some of you Sagittarians may receive a bit of pressure, maybe from family, maybe from someone romantic. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles, she lacks adoration for the Pentacle here. Normally, if she's upright, she's so immersed, she's so engaged. Um, you know, it's really all good. But in this particular case, she's coming up as reverse, so she doesn't have the same admiration. Maybe the attraction isn't a strong Sagittarius. Um, Knight of Swords, it could be someone trying to force you into something, uh, and maybe you're not entirely, um, you're not entirely comfortable, or maybe you're not entirely ready. Um, I did mention the Emperor is quite confrontational. The King of Pentacles is also a very, um, very influential figure so it could be someone who does have a lot going for them but you may lack you may lack that spiritual connection you may lack chemistry and you know chemistry is with the, the the alchemist the magician here and this is reversed Sagittarius so one of you are not feeling the same chemistry as the other um, it could just be for titles king of pentacles may feel somewhat pressured to settle down so I don't know if there's if you've recently experienced this or will experience this um, feeling somewhat pressured to to settle down in a connection or to finally um, finally settle in this capacity. Um, and the magician can be manipulative, so it can be someone who's trying to manipulate and sort of have that connection or relationship work in their favor rather than yours, Sag. So make sure you're comfortable with it. There could be a bit of back and forth. Again, it could be something to do with timing. Uh, so you may need to work on that. 
uh, coming into this relationship. But the Knight of Swords, it's anxiousness that separates the Queen from the King. So this could be an overthinking energy. Knight of Swords can also engage in self-sabotaging behavior. So I would hate to think there's something here you're thinking about doing, but really it could be a detrimental to this connection. And you did have Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign. They, they do tend to overthink and overanalyze. So... Could be reading too much into something here but i think from the behavior and the things you'll come to see you'll you'll come to learn that it could be pressure and the ideology more than actually the connection itself somehow let's uh, shift over to couples and see what comes up sagittarius couples So we have Ace of Wands, okay, I think there was another sign that had these three cards come up in the couple sense. Ace of Wands is reversed, Sag. You're refusing to act on an opportunity or not wanting to act on some sort of opportunity in love. Um, or, or wanting a new start. Ace of Wands is, is a time, is an opportunity where we need to act accordingly to the situation. I think in relationships, you're leaving someone to, you're leaving, um, you're doing, you're almost leaving the hard work to someone else here. You want to see if they'll pick up their game. You want to see how they'll react. Uh, and I think this is lack of initiative. I think you've been carrying the relationship for quite some time, Sagittarius. You've invested a lot. The attachment is evident here with the King of Cups, uh, representing things like love, um, strong bondship. But things, the Three of Cups, this is enjoyment and happiness that has been reversed um, or uh, a third party situation that has caused a bit of a bit of strife in the relationship. But you haven't acted on it or, or you haven't inquired about it or followed up about it could be someone that sort of come into the picture and ruffled a few feathers Sagittarius but you either let it happen and didn't say anything um, but maybe that confrontation is is going to come up and you'll have an opportunity to confront your partner your person about a third party vice versa they may have this opportunity to confront you but time will tell if they actually will I think the opportunity is there to expose something and have it out there as as public knowledge have it out there and, and speak to your person about it, but I wonder if you'll actually take that opportunity. For some of you, things are definitely becoming more serious, though. Um, this can be seen as a phallic symbol, so I don't know if you're missing out on like infatuation and 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 uh, the sex life might be suffering here. But in terms of emotions, this is definitely becoming heavy, Sagittarius. You might even become overwhelmed with how things are progressing overwhelmed with emotion maybe you're trying to hide it you're trying to mask how you really feel it could be a case of denial here denying how you really feel about this person um, or trying to convince yourself otherwise trying to convince yourself you don't you know because the the king of cups i feel like this body of water under him can represent things like the subconscious I do feel like there might be a bit of playing with emotions, especially if you've sort of been ping-ponging back and forth between this person and another, or things have been very back and forth, you can't make a major decision, things don't seem to be working. This is you as the ones, and you're, you're carrying it here. It almost looks like he wants to offload on the King of Cups, so I do feel like you want to offload something emotionally. If this isn't you, Sag, then your special person might want to offload something here. Remember the release, uh, the tension release here, the, the emptying of vessels. They could be asking a lot from you here. And I think it's going to be up to you whether you want to take that opportunity um, to show this person how much you really care, or if you may not necessarily take it seriously enough or as serious as you should be taking it. Because if they're upside down, their cups will be emptying. 
and really the king of cups is is sitting on this huge body of water he's he can share but he doesn't want to so he may be suppressing something i do feel like there could be um someone here withholding something from you sag i think it's you to be honest you're coming up as the wand and i think it's you that could definitely be withholding something significant Because it only takes, it's your grip, and if you're holding on here, and you let go, the wand goes falling, everything that you have goes falling. So some of you could be the ones clinging on to something, still hopeful that it could work. Hope and um, fantasy is here. Two of Cups, maybe you need to confront reality more. And that doesn't mean that you don't have an attachment. That doesn't mean you have love and bondship. The distance might work in your favor, Sagittarius. The distance might help improve what you have with this person and the way things are going between the both of you actually so it might do you more good than bad and healing may happen in this time as you choose to decide what it is that's best for your relationship best for your connection so i do hope it has been helpful